Welcome everyone for a celebration of love, commitment, friendship, family, and of two people who are committing to forever, Katie and Patrick. We have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this is regarded as one so critical that we acknowledge its special status by sharing it with others. Why this moment, you may ask? Because despite all our differences, love is what we all share. It's the great unifier, our one universal truth, that no matter who we are, where we've come from, or what we believe, we know this one thing, love is what we're doing right. We're here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and to remind you that love isn't happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing our own story. An experience so incredible that words fail us when we try to explain it. Do you, Katie and Patrick, promise to be each other's partners from this day forward? Will you bring out the best in one another, share your happiest moments together, and love each other absolutely for the rest of this lifetime and whatever may come next? If so, answer we do. We do. I, Katie. I, Katie. Take you, Patrick. Take you, Patrick. To be my lawfully wedded husband. <laughs> to be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise. I promise. To stay by your side. To stay by your side. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. In joy and sorrow. In joy and sorrow. I promise. I promise. To love you without reservation. To love you without reservation. And encourage you. And encourage you. To achieve all your goals. 
all your goals. I promise. I promise. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. Go on adventures with you. Go on adventures with you. And support you. And support you. Through life's toughest moments. Through life's toughest moments. I promise. I promise. To be proud of you. To be proud of you. Grow old with you. To grow old with you. And find new reasons. And find new reasons. To love you every day. To love you every day. Hi Patrick. Hi Patrick. Take you, Katie. Take you, Katie. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise. I promise. To stay by your side. To stay by your side. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. In joy and sorrow. In joy and sorrow. I promise. I promise. To love you without reservation. To love you without reservation. And encourage you. And encourage you. To achieve all your goals. To achieve all your goals. I promise. I promise. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. To go on adventures with you. To go on adventures with you. And support you. And support you. Through life's toughest moments. Through life's toughest moments. I promise. I promise. To be proud of you. To be proud of you. Grow old with you. Grow old with you. And find new reasons. And find new reasons. To love you every day. To love you every day. Patrick, you may now kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, it's my great privilege to pre present to you for the very first time with the express written consent of Major League Baseball, <laughs> husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Virginia. <laughs> I was talking to Pat on my way home from work like I often do. I said, Pat, what are you getting up to this weekend? He said, I'm going on a date. My friend set me up. I said, is she cute? And she said, yeah. Is she nice? Yeah. I said, okay, let me know how it goes. Then we went back to our normal course of conversation, which is usually like, man, the lions sure do suck. <laughs> a couple weeks later, talking to Pat again, same situation. I said, Pat, what are you doing? So all Katie and I, we're going out to the movies, we're going out to dinner, we're doing this. I said, huh. See, my sister's name is Mary Catherine. She goes by Katie. I said, wow, Katie's in town? And you guys are like hanging out, going to the movies? That's kind of weird. He said, no, 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 Katie Izzy. I said, oh, I guess that date did go well. Eventually, I called Pat. I said, Pat, who the hell is Katie Izzy? Like, I need to meet this girl. He said, well, funny you should mention that. It was getting towards Christmas. I was coming home. We were having a big family gathering, and Katie was going to come over. He said, I want you to meet her. I said, okay. Now, in the back of my mind, you can kind of see the family that's here. Family gatherings in our house can be really intimidating. Everybody is like nine feet tall. There's never a small family gathering. There's always 100 people. And they're overly friendly. So from an outsider to come in, you can ask my wife, it can be very scary. So I thought, ah, this is going to be fun. 
So the time comes, Katie opens the door, walks in, cute as a button, big smile, dimples, oddly tan for Michigan in the wintertime. But like a literal way of sunshine, she walks in the door. And she's not intimidated, she's not scared at all. She walks in like she's owning the place. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Aunt Sally. And it took a couple minutes, I sat there, I saw Pat looking at her. We were chatting, it was a perfectly pleasant conversation. And then, I got it. You know, it doesn't happen a lot. But there are a few times in your life where your life just changes overnight. Maybe one day you come home, you have a brother. You see that brother grow up into a man. And you see him find a special someone. Pat saw it. My family saw it. And that day I saw it. Katie, I hope you see it too, because it's kind of a little late. We got all these people, they're all dressed up. Close your eyes. 